All right, look. So I wanted to get everybody an update of what happened um, with the replat that's going on in Washington Terrace. And uh, for those that haven't been up to date, uh, we've been down to the Planning Commission twice in the month of May to push back on a property owner, a recent property owner of Washington Terrace who wants to subdivide or cut up one of the lots into three lots and build townhomes. Now, there's nothing wrong with townhomes, but in this neighborhood, it just so happens that the entire street is nothing but one home on one lot. So there's a lot of pushback for different reasons. I won't get into all of that. You can go and check out some of the other videos that I have posted and they'll kind of go through, walk you through everything and all the details. So I just want to give an update as far as our meeting with the developer, which for those of you that probably clicked on this video, you're probably wondering like, what was I talking about? So uh, Jamel Hassan is the, the developer. Uh, uh, the planning commission encouraged him to come to our civic meeting. He came out to Washington Terrace civic meeting uh, the end of May. Uh, he walks in with James, Dr. James Douglas, who is actually the current uh, president of the NAACP. So this was kind of a shock to me and everybody else because we're members of the NAACP as a civic organization. Um, I'm a member of the civic uh, of the NAACP as an individual, and I also sit on the housing uh, committee and have done so for about the past year. Now we reached out to the NAACP and we didn't get too much of a response or any support back in trying to push uh, for a change in the policies and how replatting happens um, in Houston. Because as it stands, it's kind of the wild, wild west. If you had the money, you can kind of do whatever you want, uh, especially for communities that are quote unquote underserved, like Third Ward. So um, anyway, uh, Dr. Douglas comes in with Mr. Hassan and pretty much endorses this project, this what we're gonna call a gentrification project, right? Even after we offered to uh, um, um, give some alternatives and some options that may uh, still help his bottom line, just so long as he builds within some guidelines that this neighborhood uh, can accept. But we didn't get too much, uh, we didn't get a whole lot of uh, agreement and compromise on the table that night. Uh, we're going to continue following up. Um, I'm pretty disappointed right now with, with NAACP and, and Dr. Douglas. I reached out to him via email. I haven't heard back from him. Uh, so I want you guys to chime in. Tell me what you think. You know, Tell me how do you feel organizations should play a role in gentrification, especially organizations that have uh, some type of duty or responsibility to underserved communities to do so like where should they stand and how should they how should they support support us so chime in let me know what you think i'll talk to you guys later